well good morning guys today i would like to talk about an interesting topic that is speed tuning your sparkle now i'm not gonna lie to you my sparkle is nothing close to speed tuning but i know how to do it in theory so there are two basic ways to speed tune your sparkle one being easier way minus one sparkle that puts her right behind your dps for example ekron will take her turn and then after her comes Sparkle and it gives Ekron another turn. Actually advances her action, that sometimes it doesn't give her the turn right away because Sparkle's action advance is just by 50% I believe. Yeah, by locked 50%. But that way you guarantee the max usage of that 50% because if you have Sparkle take action before your Ekron or DPS, then you're not really using all of those action advancing. Sure, you guarantee that Ekron comes right after, but still, you're not utilizing all of that action boost because Ekron would have came right after Sparkle anyway. So, the way you get minus one Sparkle is first, you gotta check the speed of both of your characters, the base speed, and in this case, scenario is the same, which makes it easy because. All you have to do is make sure you get enough substats on your DPS and close to no speed substats on your Sparkle. So, of course, you still gotta have speed boots on your Sparkle because if you're running on 100 speed instead of like 130s, speed tuning is not gonna help because your characters are too slow to take actions at all. The better way to approach it is by having speed boots on your Acheron and having some speed substats. I think in this scenario plus 8 speed, for example plus 6 here and plus 2 here is perfectly enough. So I'll just give her speed boots from Gallagher let's say and she's gonna have 134. To match that with Sparkle all I have to do is switch this one because it has subset of 6 speed and here we go. So she has 6 points from here and 25 points from boots now it would be way more efficient if she would go over 134 breakpoint like if i got another subset for acheron then i could give sparkle a bit more speed like one plus two on a relic this one let's say from one main i could switch these two and 134 now in theory this could work too if Ekron took turn before Sparkle, but if it's the same then I don't think it's guaranteed. I would have to test it out in a battle first, but the safe approach to it is just have one or two speed more on your DPS. And that's not hard to achieve by simply not giving your support, Sparkle, any substats that have speed. So just speed boost and set. Your DPS gets around plus 8 to plus 12 speed with substats. That varies on the type of character you're using. For example, my blade has 97 speed as his base speed and Akron has 101 so blade would need a bit more speed and substance to match up with sparkle that's the easy way to approach it now the hard way would be just to build your dps as you will give them attack boots instead of speed don't worry about it and just take a look at your sparkle each character can have up to six relics and one has speed as the main stat you can't have speed as a substat on this one so only five relics can have speed as a substat now for hyperspeed sparkle you need 161 or just 160 speed i'm not sure and what that does i think it's obvious it gives her a lot of actions and it doesn't even have to perfectly match your dps for it to be efficient but it's way harder to achieve because in order to do so you will need to get plus 30 on your substats actually no i don't think it's plus Actually, yeah, it is plus 30, so let's just quickly remove this, so I don't have this plus 6. Uh, I don't have any other speed substats, only as the main stat, and from my traversing hacker space. So that's plus 31, plus 6, and plus 25. Now, to reach 160, I need 28 more in substats, to reach 162, I need 30. So, that would mean each one of these needs to have plus 6 speed just like this one although if you're aiming directly for 160 then one can have plus four speed but the point is basically each one of these needs to have plus six points of speed on average in order to get your hyper speed sparkle plus it needs to be on set for peace planar set doesn't matter but i would definitely suggest going for broken kill because well it's sparkle now do i advise going for hyper speed or getting minus two or minus one sparkle well in general i think the hyper speed sparkle is 
hard to achieve, but still, the artifacts you need are messenger traversing hackerspace and broken keel, which you need for literally every support in the game. Like, come on, Bela, 2p speed, Gallagher, 2p speed, Haran may either 2 or 4p speed, all of your healers either 2 or 4p Heck, sometimes even your DPS if you've got a nice enough set. Like, check this, I've got crit damage that now I use on Sparkle, but this was on my Doctor Ratio because I had no better relics. And HP bonus of Longevius Disciple is not that bad either. Like, for your Pila, in this domain you're basically grinding both sets. And for the Blade Owners, this domain is pure heaven. So my advice, if you have built enough characters to aim for Hyper Speed Sparkle, then go for it. But... If the rest of your team is severely underbuilt, then perhaps it's good enough to settle for minus 1 or minus 2 sparkle. But do keep in mind that your DPS would need to have speed boots for that. Alright, I hope this video was useful to you guys. If it was, please leave a like, subscribe. As always, see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>